Today we're going to be making two more things in preparation of our camping trip. We're going to be making a lava cake. We're going to make the ingredients with powdered milk. So once we get to the campsite in the night that we want to have lava cake, all we have to do is add the water. Plus we're going to make an extra one that we're going to make today. Husband's been asking for lava cake. Lava cake's what he's going to get. The second item we're going to make is a homemade instant milk gravy using powder milk. Then all we have to do is add water with the cooked sausage we've already made, a little bit of butter for a fat, and then we'll add the water and then we have gravy. We still need to make our biscuits, but I'm thinking I'm going to wait a couple more days before I make the biscuits because I don't want to freeze them. I want to take them camping, already cooked, but fresh so they can last the whole week. So the first thing we're going to make is a lava cake so we can get one in the oven. So I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. I have a cast iron skillet right here. We're going to go ahead and put some butter in here and we're going to make our mix. Put that in here, stick it in the oven, and it takes about at 50 minutes to an hour. So I have some room temperature butter. I just want to give it a good smear. That looks good. And I'm just going to set this aside. So this is a two component lava cake. If you've seen my channel, we've made this before. So you have your wet ingredients and you're going to have a dry ingredients. So we're going to make it the same way we're going to make it for camping. So we need a cup of flour, quarter cup of cocoa powder, three quarter cups of sugar, two teaspoons of bacon powder, it calls for a half a cup of milk, but since we're using powder milk and it takes a third of a cup of powder milk to make one cup of milk, we need a half a cup. So we actually need half of a third of a cup. So we're just going to do two tablespoons. You can do your own math, but that's close enough to me. And to bring out the sweetness of sugar, just add a pinch of salt. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. And because we're not using milk, we're using milk powder, it might take more than just a half a cup of water. But we'll start with a half a cup. And we want it not thick, but not super thin either. All right, so I think I need to add a little bit more water. We have all this powder in here, and we need to get it all hydrated. Yep, that's what we're looking for. So I think three quarters of a cup of water is perfect. It calls for a melted butter, but my butter is super soft. So we're just going to put in two tablespoons of butter. Mix that in. All right, let's set this aside and work on the dry ingredients. Okay, we need a cup of brown sugar. Don't worry, we got plenty of brown sugar. We made some just no. the other day. A quarter cup of cocoa powder. And we need a half cup of chocolate chips. Whisk that together. Let's clear our station up just a bit. So here's our prepared pan. We're going to put the wet ingredient in here. The wet batter. Perfect. We're going to sprinkle our dry ingredients right on top. Make sure everything is evenly distributed on this pan. And 
one and three quarter cups of hot water. Just pour it right on top. And we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes to one hour. Timer is set. Now we're going to go ahead and start working on the one we're going to take camping with us. And now we're just going to repeat the process to take with us camping. One cup of flour, three quarter cups of sugar, quarter cup of cocoa powder in this bowl, plus a quarter cup of cocoa powder in that bowl. Two tablespoons of powdered milk, two teaspoons of bacon powder. Let's whisk that together. So that's the dry ingredients for the wet ingredient of the lava cake. Let's put that in our Ziploc bag. Perfect. So the dry ingredient, we already have the cocoa powder in here. And now we need a cup of brown sugar. A half a cup of chocolate chips. Whisk that together. And I'm going to put that in a sandwich size Ziploc bag. Let me clean up just a bit. So we have the lava cake mix and the topping. So that is one of the desserts that we're going to take camping with us. The other dessert I'm planning on having is like an apple pie. I need to get some puff pastries, some apples, and we're going to just core the apple, put a little bit of butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon in that core, wrap it up with puff pastry, put it in aluminum foil dish or a cast iron dish, add just a little bit of water and let it cook on the campfire. We'll figure that out when we get there. But I'm not going to get that stuff until the day before we leave for camping. And we're only planning on two desserts. We're only going to be there for five nights. So we're going to do single serve apple pie and we're going to do lava cake. We have the lava cake done. Let me wash the dishes, reset the kitchen, and we'll start on that gravy mix. Dishes are done. We're going to start on the gravy mix. And this is going to be an instant gravy mix. We're going to use powdered milk. And I buy my powdered milk from Azure Standard. It's an A2, A2 powder milk. It costs a little bit more. But I have a tendency of having inflammation in my joints, especially in my knees. I found that a good quality milk like my raw cow milk that I get every week or the milk that you could buy in the store that's an A2, A2 milk or my milk powder, which is also an A2, A2 milk. Now, what does that mean? A2, A2 is, I don't know if it's a hormone or chromosome or something like that, but it's the type of cow that produces an A2, A2. Most of the milk you get from the store is an A1, A1. Now, that milk actually causes inflammation in my joints. I actually went to the doctor several years ago with the pain in my joints, and they couldn't do anything for me in a natural way. And I did not want to go through pain or eliminating dairy from my diet. So I did my own research and found out that A2A2 milk does not cause the inflammation that A1A1 or A1A2 milk does. If it has an A1 in it, it will cause inflammation. If you have that same problem, I will look into 
non-conventional ways of trying to alleviate the pain in your joints and see if A2A2 milk works for you. You can buy it at the grocery store. It's a little pricey. Or see if you can find a herd share in your area and get milk from a good quality source. Now, if you're looking to find A2A2 milk in your area, chances are the farmer is not doing lab work on their cows to see if they're A2 or A1 or a combination. But if you find that the cows they're using are Jersey cows, as close to a thoroughbred as possible, chances are it is an A2, A2 milk. Now I found a local farm to me and her cows are Jerseys. I have had no problem with the milk I get from her. Even the heavy cream and the butter we make from it, I have no problem with it whatsoever. So if you're having issues with joint pain, chances are it is inflammation. And inflammation cannot be cured from a doctor. It needs to be cured from your diet. I know I like rambling on about quality food, quality ingredients. But put that aside and let's make this instant gravy mix. So this mix will make a lot of gravy mix. Once we get the dry ingredients together, when we're ready to make this, we need two tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of this mix that we're going to make, and one and a half cups of water. That is all we need. But because we're going to have so many people at breakfast, we're going to be making gravy two times during the week we're going to be gone. We're going to double the gravy recipe, but I need to make sure I have a cup of final product, which I should. Because we're going to start off with two cups of flour. We need a cup of powdered milk. Now remember, a third of a cup of powdered milk makes one cup of of milk. So that's actually three cups of milk I just put in here. We need a quarter cup of cornstarch, a tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of onion powder. Now the recipe I have written down here has poultry seasoning. I need to get that on my next Azure order, but I keep forgetting. So I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of our chicken broth powder just to give it some extra flavor. Now if you were going to make this recipe according to the original, it's one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. We're going to whisk that together. I'm going to make sure all those clumps are mixed in here. Now each recipe, like I said, we're going to do a half a cup of powder to three cups of water. So that's one recipe. And that's two recipes. So we need four tablespoons of butter one baggie to three cups of water. And the rest of this, I'm just going to put in a wide mouth mason jar so we can have instant gravy in the house.
Again, let's clean the station, put everything in the pantry that needs to go in the pantry, put everything that needs to go down here, down here, and then in about 18 more minutes, that lava cake will be ready. Lava cake is done, and it took 45 minutes. We need to let it cool down just a bit before we get into this because it is lava hot, no pun intended. So we're going to let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll scoop out some. But let me tell you, family, this is the most simplest, easiest dessert ever made. And since we have everything ready to go camping, it'll be even faster. Plus, we have our gravy mix. So that's all we're doing for camping today. I do need to go through my chuck box because it's been over a year since I've been in there and see what I need to add or take away for camping usually has my pots and pans, utensils, you know, things of that nature. And Manda actually used it last year after we came home from camping. Her and her husband stayed and camped for a few extra days. So I just left her my chuck box. And I'm hoping my stove is in there. Please, Amanda, please let my stove be in there. So that's it for today. I'll see you when we go grocery shopping. It's getting closer and closer for us to leave. But grocery shopping for the perishables, such as the fruits and the vegetables, the lunching meat, breads, things of that nature, we're going to wait to the day before we leave to get all those things. Plus, we need to get all of our camping gear together, pack our clothes, and then whatever else we need to do. Can't wait till we get back together and we'll get this camping trip wrapped up. Nope, nope, nope. Change my mind, family. No, we're not. We're going to do it. You know what? No, 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 no. No, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't fit.